Morning. Tuesday the 3rd of March, James Henry Greathead is there, he invented the tunnelling shield of course. Going for a ride on the Northern Line today, we're having fun once more with OSI, that's out of station interchanges, I'll explain as I go. So we're tapped in a bank on the Northern Line at 10.28, walking down one of what I believe is just three non-spiral staircases on the tube. Bank Northern Line, Mornington Crescent and also Shepherd's Bush Central Line all have non-spiral staircases. Anyway, it's not about staircases, it's about uh, times that I tap in and out. So I've made a note of that time and I'm heading to London Bridge. I'm on the escalator going up to the ticket barrier. It's 10.36. Now what I'm going to do uh, is get my stopwatch on my phone and as I tap out here at London Bridge Tube Gate Line, I'm going to start my stopwatch and I'm going to very specifically uh, wait for a certain period of time before I touch in uh, at the National Rail Gate Line because I'm going to get a southern train to my next destination. Uh, I'll explain why once I've, uh, once I've tapped out. I'm not sure that that shot came out. It's quite hard to hold your camera and your phone for the stopwatch and your Oyster card all at the same time. Uh, anyway, the time is running, so we're uh, nine minutes in. The time is relevant, I would explain that now. OSIs are out of station interchanges when you can uh, leave one gate line and enter another, but you get charged on Oyster and contactless as the same one journey. There are loads in London. <clears throat> if you look at the tube map, some of them are on the regular tube map, but they're shown by dotted lines. They just show walking connections. Most of the walking connections are OSIs, not all OSIs are shown. If you have the round network map for London and the South East, they're also shown on there. The one I'm going to next is shown on here. I'm heading for the least used OSI, that's where I'm heading next. But the thing that you can do here at London Bridge is that you have 40 minutes, and this is the interesting anomaly uh, at all London termini, so like Victoria and Waterloo and Euston and Marlebone and Paddington and London Bridge, leaving the tube, no matter what time of day, and heading for National Rail, you get 40 minutes, four, zero, 40 minutes. So right now, I'm on 11 minutes out of my 40. I guess the reason why they do it is because maybe your train service is every half an hour. What if one gets cancelled and you have to wait like even longer, but you have 40 minutes. That's really handy to know if you're coming home of an evening and you're on pay as you go, it means that you can grab a beer or do some shopping or do all the things that I'm about to do uh, as we take it up to as close as I dare to 40 minutes. which means there's definitely time for a drink. You can get a lot done in 40 minutes. I found this model of London Bridge Station, then went to the shops, and even considered that's probably enough time to get your hair cut, but mine didn't need it. Definitely got time to go to the toilet. Okay, it's coming up in 35 minutes. I'm gonna touch in on the barriers when it gets to 39 and 55 seconds. Okay, onto my southern train. Got to change at East Croydon for the Uckfield branch because we are heading for the least used OSI. The OSI on the large map of rail services in London. This one here between Upper Wallingham and Whiteleaf, which is actually something that we walked on all the stations. I think you can do it in like two minutes. Uh, and apparently only 48 people made that OSI connection throughout the whole of last year. So 2019, only 48 people did that. And I'm gonna go and add to those stats today. Whilst I'm here, I'm gonna check two apps. One, uh, people ask me, how do I check? Uh, in the Reading video the other day, people asking, how do I check my balance on contact list? Well, TFL in the corner have a thing called the TFL Oyster app. And if you tap on it, you can load up your contact list cards and also uh, Oyster cards. And if I tap on mine right now, uh, I can see it hasn't come through yet. Actually, no, that's, I think that's a good sign. It's saying bank to missing touch, which is correct. 
The other app I want to talk about is the one called that I use for my timetabling. People say, what app do I use to like look up times and stuff? I use the one, it's in the corner again, called By Train. And if I tap on that now, I'm doing a London Bridge to Upper Warningham. And sure enough, I'm leaving at 11.50 and I'll get there at 12.22. It's called By Train. Uh, I use it all the time to look up where my next train is. Link in the description. Upper Wallingham. Yes? Yes. At 12.22. So Upper Wallingham, there's no barrier gates, just oyster validators. What I'm going to do is I'm going to touch out and then walk to Whiteleaf and time it. Uh, but because I'm going to do lots of cutaways of me walking on the pavement, then obviously I've got to come back uh, and position the camera. So actually I'll walk it twice, but I will walk it the first time without stopping to get the absolute time because there's a 20 minute limit on this OSI and I think it takes about 90 seconds. You just have to cross this one main road and then cut down a side road to get there. And stop at Whiteleaf. Hello Whiteleaf. Uh, two minutes and 50 seconds uh, to walk between the two when you're 20 minutes. And I've just contributed to the potential 48 to this year, London's least used out of station interchange. It's just one more thing, a teeny bonus thing we have to do, because I want to see, I need to check on my app when I tap out that the Oyster app can cope with the fact that I've done the longest and least used OSI. So I'm going to go one stop to Kenley and actually get out and end my journey there. So here's my journey history for my Oyster showing that the time to my interchange at London Bridge added up to bang on 40 minutes and I was charged for one journey from Bank all the way through to Upper Warningham. But as for the final leg of my journey, there was a slight hitch. Because if you look at the DMI dot matrix behind me, sadly there's been an instant on the line and I think all trains are now cancelled on the Caterham branch for the rest of the day. So either I'm going to walk back to Upper Wallingham or just go and get the bus to Croydon uh, instead and get back into London that way. It's a shame. I was going to go one stop to Kenley where there's the other foot crossing in London, which I have yet to go to. But it is an OSI. It is London's least used OSI, 48 people. And you can spend 40 minutes between a London tube station at a terminus before you then get on to a national rail train. I'll leave you with uh, a shot from the bus. Thank you.